I'ma wreck these bitches like a typhoon. I'ma serve these hoes like a chat room. They out here, they looking at me like, damn, still you really getting it? Got STDs. I paid five dollars for it. Took the bitch to Taco Bell and got her one box. She gave me the clap. Hello, welcome to our first video of Food News Episode One. Today we found a Vermilion Man allegedly shatters a Bird King window. He did this earlier in the month. So what happened was the guy just pulled up, he was pissed off, threw a cinder block through the door of Burger King. This guy's a local Ohio guy, so I felt like I had to, you know, approach this. Um, I guess the guy was getting enough hours at Burger King, so he's, he basically w took it upon himself to just throw a cinder block to the window. And then the dude was such an idiot. The dude actually called the cops and said, hey, I threw a cinder block through the damn door. And basically got arrested, and they released him to his sister. He's on like a $7,000 personal bond. So, like, this is just crazy. Like, dude, go get a damn job at Marco's Pizza. It'll deliver some pizza or something. Over here throwing throwing shit through windows. And then he's dumb enough to call up there and say he did it. You could tell this dude's a rookie. Like, damn, dude. He, he couldn't hustle. Like, you know what I'm saying? Go donate some damn plasma, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you need it that bad, go donate some plasma. You know. Burger King don't owe you nothing. You're over there making them whoppers and shit sloppy as hell. You're you're probably the dude that keeps putting mayonnaise on my damn burger. Shit slap the shit out of you. Shit. Dirty bastard. Could need to get a damn haircut. That's why I need some more hours. Damn hairline looks like got damn got caught up in the damn woods and shit. Got tea bags. Shit. Dude's looking all sketchy and shit. Oh, yeah, well, and then he tried to say, well, I'm off my medication. Well, that explains it. On to the next segment. I think you guys are going to like it. It's very controversial. It's very popular. It just happened several days ago. We're going to touch upon it. Okay, guys. So this next segment took place at Golden Corral, America's best buffet. And while everyone's enjoying their meal, uh, it's about closing time. And what happened here was there was a conflict between a customer and a worker at Golden Corral. You know, they were beefing a little bit, I guess. And then the worker ended up going outside eventually for, for whatever reason, and he just got stabbed. And then he bled out. He got stabbed in the stomach according to 911 calls that were made. There was like four or five 911 calls. They were pretty graphic. And that's what happened, you know. This is a, a national tragedy. Oh uh, no, it's not every day that, you know, this kind of stuff happens like close to home, but this is a safe area. This is a an area that is uh right by, you know, one of the well known amusement parks, Cedar Point, you know, if not the best amusement park in the world. So it was it's very unclear, you know, what was, what were the motives, but I'm gonna touch upon my opinion in a second and just stating you guys with the facts. Uh, they did find a couple suspects, uh, a man and a woman, believed to be suspects, uh, that drove off. You know, there was multiple witnesses, so I think this is a clear, uh, a clear cut case, since there were so many witnesses saying that they seen a white car or a white van or a white truck. They might have been unclear of what the make and model of the vehicle was because they were unfamiliar with it, but they all knew it was a white car or a white vehicle in general. And as we move on to this, I'm going to give my opinion and then comment below what you guys think about this, about what do you think that happened that led to, to a worker being stabbed, especially being a nice area at all. Like this is a relatively new Golden Corral. It used to be Ryan's Buffet and then they changed it. Okay. Now, as you can see here, this is a photo. What happened at the night at the top of the screen? Uh, this is from... Uh, one of the news outlets and it said uh, an officer received a call of disturbance at the restaurant and came in around 9.03 so this place is about to close I'm pretty sure they closed at 9 or 10 and it was a Sunday so I imagine I assume it, it, they're gonna close at a 9 o'clock so uh, an argument happened earlier inside the restaurant now this is where my opinion comes into place so they got two people that they accused of doing the stabbing uh, the woman and a man 
the woman they're charging her with complicity and they're charging the man with murder um i don't know what degree yet if it's if it's said yet i've been looking for updates i've been following this case pretty uh intensely um what doesn't make sense to me is when the 911 calls came in the guy was inside the restaurant in the back of the restaurant and like think about it the only way he's going outside he's in the back of the restaurant is if he's going to take out the trash you know because that's just how restaurants are set up you know usually it's in the back or whatever so the guy was taking out the trash you know they might have had a little scuffle inside they had a little beef uh, exchanged some words and then they uh basically they, they were stalking this guy you know they, they had it out for him it's 903 at night you know they were they were just waiting they were waiting for this guy so a they either knew him or b you know they were just beefing so bad that they were just like you know what we're gonna stick around and maybe they just wanted to talk to him and then it just got out of hand again or whatever happened but a golden corral employee busting his ass busting his ass at that job and honestly i'm not sure if i seen him there since the new one opened but i might have probably have you know and, and that hits me because th these people are some hard workers that work there and this guy got three kids you know like this is very tragic there's nothing funny about it and uh it's a disgrace that you know scumbags like that are just walking around at golden corrals willing to stab people and shit like you know we're, we're gonna i'm gonna show you um photos of them and you know i'm gonna do a little roast on them all right let's see all right so here here are the suspects that are involved in this stabbing incident um who knows if it was a murder plot or what who knows how well they really known the victim but look at these scumbags okay let's expose these scumbags on the left we got cheddar bob looking ass fucking demetrius hall he looks like a baby bag bitch he looks like he got dandruff all up in his beard or i don't know if it's the low quality photo i'm pretty sure it's his beard he got a dirty ass beard look like he put mashed potatoes all up in that shit so he's looking dirty he's just looking like a straight bitch and on to the right you got some girl named tasha patch i mean where the hell she, where, she, where the hell is she at she she looks like she she got done damn uh snorting fucking sawdust i mean look at her she looked like a damn raccoon i mean shit this bitch looking all weird and shit so she got charged for complicity he's getting charged with murder she got charged with complicity to commit murder he got charged with commit murder or whatever the hell it is so just look at these people these are the people they just go up to people at golden corral like this dude on the left looks soft you know he looks soft he looks like a fucking teddy bear you know what i'm saying and i read an update that they're given they're given the girl bond she she never was in any kind of trouble before with erie county or anywhere or whatever so it's not a problem they're like oh we'll just we'll give you a bond it's okay so scumbags like this get left out on the street for what you know you know and while while a guy just got killed busting his ass at a job trying to make some money when they got these two fucking scumbag welfare motherfuckers over here you know fucking doping and shit had to go to fucking plasma to get money to go to golden corral and they got to harass a worker and then it turns out the way it did is this is just how it is you know it's, it's just america that's why you always got to stay strapped no matter where you're at you always have to be aware of your surroundings because you got scumbags like these people right here you know and you know they didn't care that the kid the guy had uh kids and you know a family and stuff no they just they just wanted to you know do some sketchy shit but my opinion on it all is that basically i think that yeah they might have been beefing inside the restaurant but i think that i think that what happened was like if they were really arguing over food like that's so petty like that's what it said in the news outlets they were arguing over food so this guy was probably like think about it he was a guy he might have been cooking the steaks you know so he might have said that oh you gave me a little ass piece of steak i want a bigger piece 
you know, and then it just got rowdy. Like, dude, this guy on the left, he looks like he couldn't even eat a piece of steak. I don't care how big it is. I mean, he looks like a baby back bitch, straight up. Dude got a fucked up hairline. He's going with this broad. She looks like a straight crackhead. I mean, something's going on here. You got two dopers. I don't know if they're shooting up or what up in the Golden Corral. Maybe they went to the bathroom. They put needles in each other's asses. I don't know, but something's going down, you know? And it's just a tragedy that you got to deal with shit like this. Christmas time, you know, and this shit happens. And, like, in a good area, if that. Like, that's crazy. You you just, it shocks you. And then, like, the 911 calls are pretty graphic. But what I think is the only way he would have went outside was to take the trash out. So if he's outside taking out the trash, they're stalking him, you know. These two right here, they're stalking that guy. You know, and then he probably like collapsed in the back of the restaurant, I'm, I'm assuming, where he tried to retreat, you know, back inside. And then they didn't get there fast enough, you know. And it's a tragedy, you know. God bless his family, but look look at look at this bums though. These straight scumbags. Like this is food news right here. Like this is real life shit. And you got scumbags like these guys. They need to get exposed for the people they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at them. They need to get exposed. Straight up. Like, the bitch on the right is a straight crack fiend. You could tell she on all kind of shit. Look at her eyes. Look at the way her head is. And look at her fucking hair. This bitch got all kind of shit wrong with her shit. She looking fucked up. She looking suspicious. And the, the dude on the left... The dude, I don't know what the fuck's going on with him. He got fucking dandruff in his beard, mashed potatoes in his mustache. He's just looking fucked up. Fucking fucked up hairline. Probably mad like, oh yeah, shit. I couldn't get that line up because I spent all my money at fucking Golden Corral. Hey, bitch, get a job. Which is crazy. Scumbags like these need to get exposed. God bless everybody. Welcome to the first episode of Food News. Stay tuned, comment below, God bless, peace.